Hello guys and welcome back to iTechnology Reviews. Today we're going to show you how to turn on your PC with your smartphone. So it sounds simple, but it's not that simple. You have to program your router, your uh, BIOS from your PC and your phone. So I'm going to teach you everything there is about this thing. So I couldn't find a great tutorial that explains me in detail how to do this process because it's not that simple but well explained you'll figure it out right away so you saw our tutorials we have ten of thousands of views uh, over our tutorials and our reviews so um, please respect what we are telling you about and do exactly the same and please try to remember don't skip the video watch the entire video because it's very important it shows you all the paces and the progress that you have to keep and to learn uh, to make this programming so so I'm gonna show you my phone we have an application called wall wake online if you can see that blue circle wool wake online you'll find it on um, google play and it works on kitkat and even on lollipop this is the application if you need we will talk immediately on the application after we do the settings on the pc in the bios of the pc in the router and even on uh, windows so now i accessed wake up online and now uh, i uh, blurred my settings here because I don't want to see it but I want to show you how the computer personal computer works in the 4G okay was just a simple press and the computer turned on over the internet now to over Wi-Fi lower your local Wi-Fi over the 4G signal by the service provider so now in the BIOS you got to get in the BIOS of uh, your computer. So in BIOS you got to find an advanced, an advanced tab or if you have that blue with red BIOS you got to find something like advanced APM. So at APM or onboard device configuration you got to find uh, I have something like PCIe. In PCIe you got to enable power by PCIe or if you have power by um, wake online enable that option power by wake up online in our case we have PCIe I got to tell you something important this tutorial or review could not work for you because it's possible that your service provider um, not supports um, send magic packets i will i will uh, tell you all about these magic uh, packages so it's possible so don't hate us guys for this in our situation if you have this uh, kind of equipment it is very possible it's a uh, 99 to turn on your personal computer by the smartphone you will need a tp link route router uh, any kind of smartphone connected over the internet or any kind of PC but the internet provider it's important okay now that you did power on PCIe you enable it now let's go in the windows so now we are in the windows the system is loading up so first thing that you want to do when you are in the windows it's going into device manager you could do this by my computer properties selected and device manager you could find it even in the control panel so now um, go and find the network adapters and I have Realtek PCIe GBE you see PCIe this is the notation we find it even in the BIOS okay properties so now find the advanced tab and in the advanced tab you have WAG on magic packet so now you have the value enable you you have to wake up on packet match enabled do this both things so now wall shutdown link speed 10 megabytes first please be careful with this option uh, shutdown wake up on land leave it on enabled and now go in the power management tab now 
on the power management tab you can deselect allow the computer to turn off this device to save power and it leaves allow this device to wake up this computer checked okay click ok click again okay so now go and open your page your configuration page to your router your tp-link router you could do this on any kind of router but these are configuration for tp-link but the configuration are similar to other router and uh, if you have problems please don't i repeat please don't hate us because this is um, a very delicate and not so easy job to do so please pay attention on the whole video and learn what I'm saying and you will achieve to turn your computer over your phone okay the power supply must be stable so it doesn't have to turn it off or uh, turn it on automatically or if you have electrical failures be aware that uh, your computer will not remember the setting and this is an important thing you got to have the power supply maintained on permanently and the internet as well because the computer memorize the last status of uh, shutting down the PC okay so I have the IP 192.168.0.102 so this IP you got to put it in the address reservation I'm using snipping tool because I don't want to show my MAC address so now after you add your MAC address your reserve IP address put your IP that you want to reserve and with the status enabled so now that the status must be enabled another thing you got to find is virtual servers at virtual servers you got to put the service port 9 internal port 9 IP address 192 your IP your IP that you reserve with the address reservation the protocol UDP enabled this is pretty much at virtual servers at ARP binding <coughs> you must put your IP address add new MAC address IP address bind and you got to click save so at the binding once you put your MAC address and IP address bind ARP binding enabled bind and save next is the, the ARP list is your MAC your IP address and it got to shows you the status bound so load it and click or bend it all load or bend next is dynamic DNS here is the username and the password you got to go to noip.com noip.com and here you'll make an account for no IP to trace and uh, grab the, that uh, service provider's IP and transmit a magic, pack, a magic package to you. So here is how you do. I think it will work you all these uh, domains. But if you see here, I done this is a username dot no minus IP dot biz. I logged into my account just to show you and here it's a IP that this site, this site uh, gets automatically from the service provider I don't have to do anything so in your account let's say here I protect my data um, here it's like testing dot not IP minus IP dot biz so here you got to put you got to put here a, a simple name not so large name uh, to be confused but it's your choice uh, I recommend to a small name you got to put a domain that it's available and you will you remember easily it doesn't have to be no I no minus IP dot biz you got other domains you can use so eventually it got to show you like this holds by domain no IP dot biz it's my name here and for example testing dot no minus IP dot biz and this IP okay this is kind of all in here in no IP 